That, yep, that was rough. Hey guys, we are nice. Nice. I'm Ray. I'm Michael. Guys, and you and I are gonna. We are in for a treat. Me and you. You and I. Me and you. Right, guys, I apologize. The other guys were not able to come in today. They had some really serious issues to deal with. <clears throat> kind <But> of <laughs> issues. There is issues, but that's okay. Mike and I are here today. There's a movie that came out. I believe it was this week that came out. It's a remake. Okay. So this is a military movie. Okay. It's called All, All Quiet on the Western Front. Okay. All right. Now, this movie came out, the original movie came out a while back. I don't even know the date, to be honest, but I know it's a black and white movie. All right. Quick question. Is this going to be like on a, based on a true story? Am I going to cry? Well, how did I get there? I don't know. I've never seen this. I've never seen the original. I don't know much about this. This, this is what I do know. So, this is based on World War One. Okay. Okay. Two, the guy who wrote this was a German. So this is a World War One of from the eyes of a German soldier. Oh, okay. Okay. Different viewpoint. That three, he wrote this based off of what he went through. However, he made it fictional and made a different character. So okay. So it's not like he wrote this about his so, own life story. So he made a character, but apparently it's based off of what he went through in that war. Okay. And this is based off of his eyes, his experience, the German perspective of World War One. That's a super different perspective. Like, like typically we only see the American, you know, correct, or, 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 or the, the allies, yeah, the allies, allies like, something like that. Uh, especially here in America, when we when we here, we normally see American point of view on whatever war movie well, it is. Yeah, we never really tend to see the uh, 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 the version of. The other, the other side. Yeah. I know there's another movie like that based on World War Two. I think it's called uh, Letters to G uh, uh, Hiroshima. I think it's World War Two. You, you get to see it from the Japanese side, which one day we'll get to react to that. Uh, but this is from the German side, based on World War One. I. I believe he's a young kid. I think he's seventeen or eighteen. Yeah, 18, I just read the thing. It looks like he's seventeen. Okay, seventeen yeah. years old. Seventeen. And the the, the protagonist's name is Paul. Paul. So I believe this is. I, I'm not sure, and I'm I, I don't I, I mean, this might be debatable. So this should be his story. I, I can see though, like how this would be. I'm like reading the caption. It sounds pretty cool. Like the initial excitement should shatter to be by grim reality. I can see it. Like this, the, this was the first world war. Like this was the real. This first, is the big first the, one. The, the big they got that the like planes going everything, they got everything. The gas, you know, like the, everything. The tanks, I believe, I'm, I'm really excited because you almost never, almost never see a world. They always World War Two movies. Now that's what that's what I'm interested. Yeah, in I, I I really do like to know more about World War One. Yeah, and there's, there's only a handful of movies that are really that are about World War One. Yeah. There's a trillion movies about World War Two. There's that movie that just came out recently. TV shows like 1917. I think it's called. That one. Yeah, yeah. That one shot, that one, the, that one, shot one shot segment, yeah. And I think, um, War Horse, I think it was Steven Spielberg, which uh, I haven't seen it either, to be honest. But this would be you know, in the trenches, we're gonna see what they what, what uh, what they went through, uh, uh, on the German side, and we're gonna take this out. Let's and do it. It came out recently, so I think it was this week that it came out. So, looking forward to watching this. Let's do it. All right, let's do it, guys. I'm a crier, so if somebody dies at the <laughs> end, it's not my cry. This side got rocked. They got lit up. Holy cow. You know, I've heard it starting with a bang. I mean, they were not joking. Started with little, little foxes. This is the trenches. This is, they're probably in no man's land. Dude, I, I'm right here, bro. That right there is poop. He's gonna go in there with a shovel. You're gonna go in there with a shovel? This guy's a G. Dude! Ah! What? Oh my god! <laughs> this guy! Dude, who is this guy? I just got goosebumps. Same. 
do that gap and you feel like you got nothing else to lose. It's taking supplies, yeah, and they have to do them again, getting supplies, recycling. Is that? That's lie, I think it's called. What does that mean? That's like, I, I think it eats up the skin to prevent like the, the maybe the smell, the bacteria thing it is. Guys, if you know what lie is, exactly what it does, let us know in the comments. We'd like to know for sure. Correct us if we say anything wrong too, guys. Oh yeah, we're, we're stupid. We're dumb. There's no so doubt in like, our mind, we're dumb. Oh boy. Oh my god. Golly. Uh, yeah, I, all I know about the World Wars is that woman took a huge role in like making ammunition, making like doing like regular roles Their that they never did. The was huge. Huge. It has to be signed by his parents. Well, someone. Come on, pass it here. That won't work, they'll find out. How will they? Well, is this mother a pen pal of theirs? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a pen. Is he signing up for the war? Yep. Not being left behind here. Guys, if my boys are going to uh to the war, I'm I'm doing it. I'm going to. I no, but you know what? They don't have what we have today. Where we have social media, we got videos like we seen war. Back then, like they probably just read about it, you know, and they're like, you know, there's honor and whatever, you know, they, they have this different illusion of what war is. For in years to come, you will be judged based on what you dare to become today. The iron youth of Germany. However, take heed of this. That prior to an attack, you will harbor doubts. But this is not the time to concede to any mental weakness. You have the chance to earn the right to wear the uniforms you have been given. And then you will, in a few short weeks, finally march on Paris! I can see how this will pump you up. I'm already pumped up. <laughs> I'm about to fight for the Iron Cross. <laughs> Next. Oh, you're flat-footed, though. You can't go. Put a little arch in that foot. I wonder if that was, like, they cared for that back then. Oh. Here, your father can be proud of you. Yes. Excuse me. It already belongs to someone. Yeah, somebody who's dead probably. Ah, oh, yes. It's probably too small for the fella. Happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's not what it, that's not what that is. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at them, you know, and they're just, they're eager and they want to be proud That's, of their country. The, Doesn't make them like, you know. I don't know, dude. This is a this is the craziest part to me, right? Like, the, if we are in a social media area, so I know, like, I like, if I'm ever going to war, it's like, all right, I know I'm going, I'm not, I'm going into. They didn't know nothing. They maybe got reports, but even reports, you know, yellow yellow journalism was so rampant back then, like everything was skewed to what it want what the picture wanted to be seen you know like even when people took losses they didn't really take losses because well, yeah, on, even had, in the paper and like, it was the propaganda false. that's what i'm saying the general journalism was just rampant back then so it's like it's crazy to me that they don't know what they're walking into they really don't gentlemen you'll be fighting in a godforsaken shithole and you'll kindly do so with a clean g98 you will keep it as immaculate as the thighs of the holy virgin <laughs> Did they get any training? A tea party here. Or just put them right in the line. Dude, you just got there. Congratulations, soldiers. This is your home now. Helmets off. Everyone pitch in. Come on. Bail out the trench. Get in line to bail the water. So you're using the helmets to... Fish out water? Yeah, because at some point they're gonna have to sleep in there. And who knows what that's doing to their feet. Sorry. You get trench foot. That's where the, the, the term comes from. Somehow this isn't how I imagined it. Just shut up, Ludwig. I mean nice, nice little dirty stale water. Hey, listen. Nice. Whatever you need to do to survive. Their their perspective changed big time. By the way, this is filmed beautifully. You know? Mm -hmm. Despite what's going on. That guy was right there. Oh! Oh no, 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 no! I'm hit! I'm hit! I've been hit! Get off! No, no Paul! No! What's going on? <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> and I signed up for the wrong thing. I just was a field trip. <laughs> they saw the flash of your muzzle. Huh? From now on, keep your heads down. 
If you don't want to catch the next bullet with your teeth, I suggest you move 10 meters to the left. Shoot, change cover. Shoot, change cover. Understand? That makes sense. There you go. So, yeah, so maybe they didn't get training. I don't think they did get training at all. So, light up the field. I'm not going to lie. If, if I was looking over and I got shot in the helmet and I hit the floor, it'd be a while before I got off that floor. Together, won't we pull? Yeah, we'll stick together. We'll always be. Oh, he's freaking out. I need to go home. I need to go home. That could be contagious. That with his fear might spread for the old boy, young people. <laughs> Holy cow, bro. Get out, get out. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That, yep. That was rough. That was rough. Dude, this is day one. This is day one, bro. Is that his friend? Dear Lord. His friend saved him. It was laying on him. His friend's glasses? Yep. Oh, man. <sighs> Dude, we have a group of friends that were like, we're tight. If you see one of your boys like this in the war, bro, th that's got to play such a hard hit to your, your psyche, bro. Mm. Wow, that's so bad, bro. That's so rough. Gee, dear Lord. Blumenthal, Samuel, Dresden, November the 6th, 1900. Yesterday was his birthday. What a grim job. Guts. That's enough. There's like a whole bucket left of people he didn't even put in that list. God be with us. Once more, over 40,000 killed in the last few weeks alone. That should convince the general staff. I think the gentlemen know it's over. I know today if you fly over parts of France, you can still see the markings where the trenches used to be at. Like they used to, where, where that, those battles took place at the those trenches, no man's land. Are they going there with no guns? They're gonna raise some chicken to somebody's house with no weapons in enemy territory. Cat? Run! Got a goose? Run! Run! Dude, zigzag! <laughs> That, but you know what keeps you looking at this and, and having like sympathy for them is is all the human aspect of all this yeah in peacetime military life you have no consents mornings food's there or else you're not there and then you have the softest bed every week with fresh sheets over it and before you know it, i'm a corporal imagine that me becoming a military policeman a cognac here a pint there a military policeman is everyone's good friend everyone there's just one catch jordan What's that? You'll never be a corporal, though, will you? This guy is not being helpful. It's too gloomy. Why well, bring the mood down? Should have cursed him out. 
Oh, he just shot that plane. That's what I'm saying. There's I was like, what the hell are these guys doing? <laughs> well, they poop it. What's going on here? <laughs> it's like a tradition that I don't know about in the military. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in the German army over there? Yeah, I, you know? <laughs> they keep it close over there. Darling one, you asked us for a package of food to be sent. Four portions of sausage are on their way with lard. Don't eat too quickly as I don't want to have to send more right away. I'd keep it away from your comrades if I were you. <laughs> My dear one, you've already played your role. <laughs> if only she could see how you're sitting there with your cigar. <laughs> this Sunday I'll visit the grave. This Sunday I'll visit the grave of our boy. I'll make sure to read to him as you remember he loved that. Mm. Sending kisses from your wife for you, Peter Saint. How is all this going to work out, hmm? Returning to a home. Having to go back to a normal being. Where all everyone wants to know about are the battles we've been in. This gaming is just weighing heavy, bro. It just weighs heavy. This guy looks like the, uh, the evil guy from Sonic. There must have been a huge explosion. Mine throw our cannons. We blasted right out of his uniform. <clears throat> Holy Jesus. Cow. Don't go south now, man. How many oh are we my looking for? Yeah, 60. Golly. I have just put the German delegation to the armistice negotiations on the train to Compiègne. These people, Brixdorf, are selling out our fatherland. My orders are war. And all the while that is the case, I shall fight for every meter. The French are trying everything they can to force their completely unacceptable terms on us. I will not capitulate. Oh boy. How long did this war last? Monsieur Le Marechal is awaiting you. For negotiation, they want to negotiate an armistice. Uh, an armistice. armistice. Mm -hmm. That's that poster. Mm -hmm. I'll come back for you. Do anything to keep you feeling Do your purpose. Anything to move on. Envious, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure, bro. Yeah. No, just be quiet. Don't say a thing. Don't say a thing. That's his thing. That's his thing. Yep. If you're being attacked, that's the guy who's going to help you. Right. <laughs> you know? I stand before you in the hope that you will take our presence here today as an opportunity to take action to suspend all hostilities. In the name of humanity, I'm here asking you for an agreement to an immediate ceasefire for the entire duration of our negotiating time in order to spare our nation's unnecessary depletion. I wonder if this is where pride kicks in. Like, no. Dites à ces messieurs que je n'ai pas de proposition à leur faire. I have no proposal of this kind to make. Monsieur Le Marchal, I'm asking you for an armistice. Vous avez 72 heures pour accepter nos conditions. You have 72 hours to accept our conditions. They are non-negotiable. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder what the conditions are. Jesus. That's a horse. Yes, it is. Soldiers march. March, soldiers. Even though the armaments is going on, that, that general is like, we're not having that. We got to fight. March, soldiers. This is going to kill whatever armaments this they have planned. They getting mowed down, bro. Whose idea was this? Oh. 
Dude, I had no legs. That's his one right there. Dude, I got an axe behind his head. Oh, golly. This guy with a shovel is no joke. It's a kid. I threw the helmet. Dude, they made it to the right place. Dude, not not time for this. That does look good though. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> Tanks. Get out of there, guys. Holy cow. Time to go. Grab a couple things and go.